Welcome back. I just took my braids down. She is giving you hair is crusty and need to go do something to it. But I had to run out really quick today. I just wanted to come and honor my word and do this Instagram Q and A. Um, little update before we get into that. Y'all see how these nails are cute? This hand is it, ain't it, honey? This is why I don't get my nails done. I broke these the same day that I got them done a few days ago. Me and Madison were swatting a fly at the same time. And yep, nail just popped smooth off. Anywho, if you are new here, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> uh, my channel is really just about me, about my children. I keep it a buck, I keep it real. I'm very transparent. I share what I wanna share. So yeah, let's get into it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am the product of a blended family. I have two moms and a dad. Y'all know my dad, David, and my mom, Pamela. And I introduce y'all to my mom, Deshaun, um, for Vlogmas. So the questions were about being in a blended family, being raised by two different families. And I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Just got to keep following, <laughs> follow me as I follow Christ, okay? The first question is, do you have brothers and sisters on your mom's side? I have one sister. Uh, her name is Shanera. That is the only sibling that I have on my mom's side. However, y'all seen Aunt Princess too. Aunt Princess has three daughters, and those are like my sisters. We were all raised together as sisters. It was never cousins. So our kids, you know, that's their nieces and nephews and stuff like that. So I have one sibling biologically on my mom's side, but my three cousins are my sisters um how does it feel to have siblings on your mom and dad's side i mean it's different you know i don't really know how i feel about having to i guess the more the merrier like the mo the more siblings the more love how are the holidays so in my early years I'm not about to get her in stunt either, y'all. Like, we're not, like, one big happy family that spent all holidays together. But there have been times, especially when I was younger. No, lies. When I got older is when we started kind of holidaying together. But for the most part, like, the holidays are here. The holidays are there. I, um, the hardest part has been spreading myself. Make sure everybody feel the love and presence. Of Portia D. So the holidays can be tricky. Girl, untie your tongue. How do you get over feeling bad about getting to spend more time with one side than the other? Okay, so look, growing up, I lived with my biological mom until I was 11. Then I moved with my dad. I lived, I spent some time in Houston. Um, my mom went to Prairie View. I spent a lot of time on Prairie View camp campus. So uh, the early part of my life, I spent time in Houston with my mom at 11. I moved with my dad but even when I was living with my dad the time was still obviously I'm spending more time where I live <laughs> but weekends holidays stuff like that I was with my mom and my sister and my cousins and a princess like I couldn't wait to get to Hillsborough so uh I don't I used to feel bad about it but now I'm just be like shit I can I'm gonna get where I can get when I can get it. I'm only one person I'm not an octopus I can not be doing all 20 things at one time so they've been pretty understanding it was a little rough patch first because I was actually spending more holidays with my dad's side than I was my mom and a princess and all of them and then as time went on I was like why am I not spending a lot of time? It wasn't like I just wouldn't go down there, but like on actual Thanksgiving, actual Christmas, I would be at my at my dad and mom's house here. Like I wouldn't, I would like go the weekend before and like do something. We might go out to dinner or go see my cousins and go see the nieces and the nephews. But I did definitely spend a lot more time with my dad's side and my mom's side. The only person that was vocal about it was my Aunt Princess. Like, at some point, Princess was like, look, shit. <laughs> You're spending time, all that time there. Because me and Tanya, my uh, older cousin Tanya, which is like my sister. Hey, boo. Um, me and her. Because she she would be at my dad's house and mom's house way more. Like, even when I was beefing with them, <laughs> Tanya would still be able to. Tanya had a room, a key. Like, she went there. So, Aunt Princess, after a while, was like, hey, y'all need to start spending some time with us down here with y'all other family and she she was right we just 
we was really it wasn't like no beef or nothing it was just that's what i've always done so my holidays were spent where i've always spent them but if you have two families you got to bust their time down the middle especially on the holidays because they might not be saying nothing to you to you but they're gonna be talking about it amongst the family and other people and they're gonna be mad so split your time up um does your biological mom <laughs> get jealous of your bonus mom jealous no uh my mom is not my biological mom has never been a jealous person but territorial she's definitely been territorial over the years like no i'm your biological mother and i'll be having to be like mama calm down <laughs> sis ain't nobody trying to take your spot so that she's never been they've never been jealous of one another but i mean y'all know how it go you become territorial of your spot uh how did you how did you become comfortable with calling miss tamala mom <laughs> I don't remember the story, but she always tell me the story that one day she entered because she would introduce me that this is my stepdaughter, Portia. And one day I was like, hey, I actually just just call me your daughter when you know, when you're introducing us and I don't have to be a stepdaughter. And I don't even really remember when I started to call her mom, but it was so natural because she'd been there since the beginning. She was at the hospital when I was born. My mama Tam was at the hospital when I was born. Keep up. I know I'm losing you. Come back, folks. It's okay. I'm going to bring it all back around to you. She was at the hospital. So it was natural for me. It wasn't like I'm a teenager and my dad has a new woman. Like, no, that's been my mama for a really long time. I just didn't start calling her mom until some years on in. But it was a natural flow. Like, the same way I am now, I imagine that's how I was back then. Like, I would see stuff and be like, hey, can I talk to you for a minute? <laughs> yeah just introduced me as your daughter and she wasn't doing it maliciously but this is also new to her as well she's a young mother like yeah they newly it, it was just a lot so we transitioned smooth as it relates to like we never had like the step dynamic and all of this stuff. we didn't really, really have all of that which side do you spend more time with as a child and now so as a child i definitely um for the first 11 years in my life, like I said, I lived with my biological mom. Um, she had me and my sister in church. <laughs> we was quoting, quoting scriptures. She was real big on like our confidence and, you know what I'm saying? Just making sure that we loved ourselves so that we can put that love out to other people. So, um, what was the question? I forgot. Dang, what was the question? Oh, spending time. So, <laughs> I forgot. Girl, read that. 11 years. I spent the majority of time with my biological mom and my sister. Then when I moved with my dad, obviously I spent more time there and we would go back and forth. But as an adult now, I work with my family, <laughs> with my man's side of the family. So quite naturally, I spend more time there. However, my impressions is at my house like two, three times a month. Like that's who keeps the girl. That's who's kept my children since they were infants is my aunt. Um, but I go down there and I see them a lot. They don't live like super far from me it's less than an hour away i go visit when i can <laughs> when i'm not busy i should i should definitely go more if you have family members in another state or another city or whatever or just another town make time i do have to make more time since i since i've had kids and moved from where they're from i don't visit as much as i should but we keep in contact if that makes sense um how did you all learn boundaries when coming together for functions we never really like had beef as it relates to coming to functions like everybody from what i saw was just real grown and just real you know what i mean like hey we're here for what we're here for a be it one of the kids birthday parties or an event i spoke at an event before and both of my moms came it was really dope so there there's really no boundaries because it's never truly been no real beef between everybody. So they, if they did, I ain't know about it. Um, how often do you see your other side? I just covered that. Not often as I should, <laughs> but I'm going to get better at that. What's the best? Last question is what's the best part of having two families? Because I always feel torn. When you start to feel torn, because I feel, felt torn before when you start to feel torn because that will happen i've definitely felt torn before i felt like and it can go as far as like social media even i'm like 
or if you post a picture of this one then this one is going to get mad or if you spend too much time here this one's going to get you're always going to be if you are in a blended family you're always going to you're always going to be torn what i started to do is just what do i want to do what makes me happy what do i want to do in this moment what's going to keep my peace intact that's how i start to because i would you know do extra over here so this one will get me or do extra over here so this side wouldn't get mad like it was a constant battle so after a while i just and you have to communicate with your families like i talk to my family both sides like hey i don't like i don't like feeling torn i don't like this i don't like that even hey i know i should be coming to see y'all more i know i should be doing more of this you can always be doing more in your life like every ain't nothing perfect ain't shit sweet you can always be doing more so don't ever get to a level a point to where you just like nah that's them i'm doing no 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 because you contribute to every relationship in your life so i took i do need to go visit them more the best thing about having two families would be for me would be the love um even though you feel torn you know that there's still love but both sides of my family love me deep and i know they love me deep even though we argue even though we like fuss fight and we we just like y'all any argument you didn't had i probably didn't had too we y'all don't get that tv shit food and none of that like we just um it's just the love man love i i'm always especially as of lately reevaluating and just checking myself like what am I contributing? If I'm in breakdown and with, with a late relationship, but being my cousin, my sister, any mama, I always look at, okay, what am I contributing to why this relationship ain't flourish, flourishing like it should be? And I check myself and then I be like, okay, Portia, get your stuff together. But if it's something that the other person, I'm like, hey, I don't like it when you do this. Da -da -da -da. I'm only one person. I can't do this. But everybody is really pretty good because you realizing that everybody have their own life you know everybody has kids significant others work like so when we do get together it's beautiful on either side of my family when we get together it ain't nothing but pure genuine love and laughs so if you are a product of a blended family like me and you are in the middle of feeling torn between two families first of all focus on what you want and if what is going on around you ain't lining up with what you want and it's gonna keep your peace intact then you're gonna have to sit down and have some real conversations evaluate yourself and then move accordingly Got, okay amen <laughs> that is all the questions that i have for my instagram q and gonna do another one really soon i'm gonna do one with the kids when they all come back together riley is visiting with her dad and grandma for the summer in madison we can't get her to come out of her room a lot of the times and kennedy she normally right with me but we have company but that is it um don't forget to like this video leave a comment subscribe share it with your family sit down and watch it together <laughs> but i do appreciate y'all for taking the time out to watch my video i'm being real nice that's why i keep looking off these people they be, they be arguing it goes down <laughs> anyway love you guys Thank you for watching. Till next time. Peace.